I'm starting to notice that in today's culture, a lot of people are struggling to find their identity, who they are, who they want to be, how to make that person become real, how to make their dreams come true. People are struggling to find purpose. And I might have mentioned this in a previous video, but we're going to hammer this home today. This video is inspired by a Simpson post that I posted in my community tab. But before I posted it in my community tab, I seen it on a YouTube community tab, just like in the public. And it went viral. People were, you know, venting their thoughts about life and all these things in the comments section. Trauma bonding. Pretty much what trauma bonding is, is you guys are socializing and becoming closer through a common struggle. And that common struggle is the workplace. In the post, it's the Simpsons face, um, wide-eyed at the edge of the bed with the caption saying, the reason why I'm late to work. Basically saying the reason why I'm late to work is because I hate what I do. I don't have a purpose in life. I can't seem to find where I fit. So I'm late because I hate my job. I'm late because I should be doing something different. I'm not following my dreams. Somewhere along the way, I took a wrong turn. I took the wrong exit. Now I have to deal with the consequences of my decision. And so people just mail it in. And it's a sad sight to see because it's always better to be late than never. But before we get too far into this video, I just wanna remind you guys, hit the like button, like, comment, subscribe. Share the video, like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support are in the description below. I'll give you guys a quick second to do that as I take a swig of fruit juice. It's not water today, it's fruit juice. Get it right. So, people are living in quiet desperation. Whenever you guys see a couple walking around, pretending to be happy, they could be happy or they could be secretly hating each other, putting on the mask of happiness. You see people at work that put on the mask of being happy. They don't really like what they do at work though. You see men in relationships put the mask on like he's happy, but he's secretly dying inside. It's interesting because as a young child, you're the most honest you'll ever be. See, a young kid will say, you know, mom, you're fat. A young kid will be like, you know, that guy is, is dark. It, they will tell you the truth. That hurt like hell. They will tell you the truth of what they're actually feeling and what they're actually wanting to say. And it's not malicious. They're just quick with the truth. See, as we age, we learn to be fake. And get I get it. You can't be real 100% of the time. You can't tell people how you feel 100% of the time. People, you have people that have you know, fragile egos, people in power positions that where if you disrespect them, you won't move any further in the hierarchy. So I get why people do certain things, but you're never going to get anywhere if you don't know the honest truth. 
I remember what I, I told you guys, truth and progress are kin. If you want to make progress, you have to tell the truth or seek the truth so you can actually make progress and better your situation. So instead of people saying, I don't want to be in this marriage. I hate this person. I've married the wrong person. Let me leave, start over. Instead of doing that, they were to stay in the marriage. And I get it, you got a lot to lose. But you're still, you're not going to be happy though. So you might as well just end it now. You know what? I, don't, I really don't like this job. I want to do something else. This is my dream. Instead of just quitting and finding something else that pays well and that you want, that you like more than the current job you have, you would rather stick there. See, Tony Montana had a quote that I think goes specifically with this video. He was drunk at this particular party. And he said, a lot of you guys are assholes because you don't have the guts to be who you want to be. You don't take the risk because you're afraid to fail. School has socialized you and programmed you that if you make a mistake, you're going to go to the principal's office and you're going to get, you know, you're going to go to HR and get fired. All these things go hand in hand. You say the wrong thing in class, the teacher humiliates you. So you, instead of asking questions in class, you just sit there and guess. You ask other people, hey, what does that mean? You ask the smart kids in class instead of just raising your hand. See, they condition you to be quiet, to cooperate with authority, to not ask too many questions. But that's how you learn. And on top of that, you don't just learn from lectures, you learn from actually doing the, the thing. You don't learn by building a house, by you know having a format. Now, now don't get me wrong, you need to know what that is, but you have to actually go out and be with the architect, a construction guy, to see what it looks like and what it feels like because it's entirely different than looking at the sketch on the computer. Everything has a risk, guys. Everything is a risk. And if you don't take that risk, you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be satisfied. And the reason why you're not satisfied is because you settled. You settled for that job. You settled for that woman. You settled for that man. You settled for that car. You settled for your plight in life, you're gonna live and die being average and mediocre. That's what you settle for. See, as I get older, I feel like I'm going backwards, not in a bad way, but I tend to tell the truth more on it, more openly, which is gonna get me in trouble, which is why I can't be in corporate America. And you have to be smiling and fake all the time. But I would rather be myself doing the things that I would like to do because nobody else is gonna do it for me. I have to be the person that um, does makes myself happy, achieves my goals and dreams. And I just want to give that, guy, that little tidbit to you guys. You are going to have to be the person that does those things. You are responsible for your happiness. You are responsible for what you want out of life. And if you don't want the, anything out of life, you know, don't complain when you see other people 
doing what they want to do and being happy. So that's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.